In this video, I'm gonna go over the six best productivity apps in 2024. These are the apps that I personally use in my personal productivity system to maximize my outputs. By the way, these apps are not in a particular order. These are six apps I'm bringing into my productivity system in 2024. And also this video is not sponsored by any of these apps at all. So this is just my honest opinion. So here are the best productivity apps in 2024. The first application in our list, best productivity apps in 2024 is going to be Ended. It's this really cool tool that uses AI to create these personalized soundscapes. Like it tunes into where you are, the time of the day, and even your heart rate to give you this unique audio experience. I use it when I need to buckle down and focus and also it's pretty good at actually surprisingly helping me unwind too. There are different sounds you can listen to when you are doing different activities. For studying, reading, writing, deep work, unwinding, etc. There are all these sounds that are scientifically proven to boost your performance. Imagine it like this. When you are studying, the tunes bring your brain to a frequency that maximizes your studying capabilities. And truthfully, in a world where being able to focus for an hour to a specific task is actually impossible, this is a cheat code. If this idea sounds interesting to you, as well as if you want to essentially focus for longer periods of time, I highly suggest you to check out Ended. It's gonna open up your mind to a different world. The second app on our list, best productivity apps in 2024 is going to be Notion. Now, I know the Notion trend has been here for the last couple of years. It's been like three years since Notion was really popular, but to be honest, I don't care. It actually serves my needs very well. And truthfully, as I'm filming this video, I'm using Notion to actually see my script. Also, let me show you guys what I use my Notion for. Number one, I use it for my YouTube content calendar. Number two, I use it to manage my business, which is high performance entrepreneur. Number three, I actually use it to manage all my clients as well. Number four, I use it to take notes about my business learning as well as actually in school. And number five, I use it to track my spending. Now, Notion is a great place to do whatever you want when it comes to productivity. To-do lists, habit tracking, taking notes, managing projects, etc. It's all in one platform. There are all these people who are building these amazing workplaces, etc. So that you can buy templates from them for cheap and your workplace is already built for you. Now, I use Notion to manage my life, but I'm not a nerd. So I'm not using something for the sake of using it. I'm actually using it because it's helping me do my work better. And currently, to be honest with you, Notion is the biggest part of my productivity system. Now, the third app in our list, best productivity apps in 2024 is going to be Meditopia, which you can guess by the name, it's a meditation app. I'm a big fan of meditation because it helps you focus better and it slowly saves your fried dopamine receptors. However, I've never really been into that like guided meditation stuff, like sit down, breathe in, feel your ass, touch the chair. Like I've never really been into that. But what I'm really into, and the reason why I've been using this application for the last close to three years, is the natural sounds that they have, such as a night at the forest, rain, lake, fireplace, sound of moon, thunder and rain, crystals, etc. These are under the category music. And I meditate to these sounds pretty much like every single day. You can also use them when you are journaling and even when you are doing deep work. These sounds just get you from the place you are and put you into this magical land of focus. And by the way, it's not like I came across this app like two months ago. No, I've been literally using it since three years and I've, I had like thousands of minutes of meditation in this. The fourth app on our list, best productivity apps in 2024 is going to be Toggle. Now, you might not have heard about this app at all because it's not like a very, very famous one, but I think it has a very, very cool future, which let me explain. You tell Toggle exactly what you are going to do, and then you start the timer. For example, editing YouTube video and then start the timer. When you finish your task, you stop the timer and tell Toggle what you're going to do next. And Toggle creates an outline for you of your day. So that you can know, number one, what are you spending your time on? And number two, uh, those times where you're telling yourself that you're working hard, but in reality, you got like three hours of work done in the day. Like you actually, it slaps you in the head while showing you this is exactly how much work you've gotten today. You can also see how many hours you have worked compared to the other days. So pretty much, if you only use Toggle when you're productive, it's gonna show you, for example, oh, six hours of productivity today. Six hours, three of them were like scripting, three of them were editing, let's say. And then the next day, you can put it as yourself a goal of like, yeah, today I'm gonna do six and a half, seven hours of productivity. So number one, it shows you the truth so that you cannot fool yourself. And number two, I think it makes the working, the process of working fun. All right, the fifth app in our list, best productivity apps for 2024 is going to be Akiflow. Now, this is the first time I'm mentioning this app in this channel because it's actually pretty newer for me as well. Here's what I use Akiflow for. Because of the fact that I use so many different applications at the same time, I have all these tasks that come from different places. For example, one task from Google Calendar, one task from Slack, 
one task from email, and then a lot of tasks from Notion. And it's actually pretty hard to keep up with these tasks if you are not seeing them in specifically one page. And Acuflow actually just does that, shows all these tasks that you have in different platforms on one simple page. I hope this was not like a gang sign or something. It pulls all your tasks from different platforms. For me, it's Notion, Slack, email, and Google Calendar, and it puts you here on one list. So you can see them all together. And then what you can do is you can insert them here in your calendar. Your productivity system, these apps that you're using should be here to help you. They shouldn't be like a more cluttered way you have to declutter in the future. No, these apps should be here to help you. And the last app in my list of best productivity apps in 2024 is going to be Google Calendar. Yes, it's simple, but it does the job. Now, if you've ever watched a video of mine when it comes to productivity, I am very big on time blocking as well as planning your days. I think if you go to bed without planning the next day, you have made a crucial mistake. And most people make this crucial mistake pretty much on a consistent basis. Google Calendar is actually pretty simple. You use it to time block as well as just plan your life. Number one, get yourself an empty calendar. Number two, put all the stuff that you have to attend to, like a school and work, that doesn't really change. Number three, and then put the things that are also very, very important, but they don't have like a specific time in your life, which is probably the business you're building as well as the gym. And then you can customize your daily and weekly plan however you like. Personally, the way I like to use my Google Calendar is like this. I put the stuff like my lectures from university, the meetings that I have, say, for my business, and all that into Google Calendar. And then I use every single day my actually notebook, which let me show you guys. Actually, I use my notebook to plan my days. But however it is that you plan your day, it truly does not matter. What matters is when you wake up, you just stick to the plan. You just stick to the plan that you made the night before, before going to sleep. Well, this was my list of best productivity apps in 2024. Now, you might agree, you might disagree, uh, but this was just my take on everything. So hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in my next video.